Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with Def Spider. Uh, today we're going to go over just basic upgrading. Uh, I'm currently finishing up some smelting really quickly, so we'll get that out of the way. But I want to just go over the upgrade hammer, the repair tool, concrete, and dry bricks, and how they work, and what they're used for. So let me clean this up really fast. I was adding on some power outside, building some more of the wind turbines. And now we're going to go into, like I said, they're just doing some basic upgrades. We're back at my my first base. And uh, the main base has come along nicely. I've got like a little village built across the map. I will have a video up probably tomorrow on the progress there. But for now, just doing another quick how-to and showing how things work. Um, for anybody who's getting ready to move on from just the wood structures to the concrete. And the dry bricks. Bricks will be used for the walls. The concrete's used for foundations and ceilings. And then you can use iron to upgrade your doors. And to do that, you're going to have to make yourself an upgrade tool. Which is just a metal hammer. It's one stick, one iron ingot. Right. And as you can see, I'm out of shelving space right now. But I'm going to be moving all this stuff. Or not all of it, but moving these extra chests of ingots across the map. Just to make progress there a little bit faster. And again, for anybody who's just wa watching or the first time they're checking in, if you want to move stuff in and out of a chest, you just hold down the Alt button and then hit right click or right mouse button. Um, if you got something that, like this thing got right here, you can spin it just by spinning your mouse wheel while holding it. All right, so just to show you what we've got going on here, let me go ahead and turn this on really quick just so it looks better. I was getting clay earlier, and I'll show you how much. So we got foliage back on now. So for, for my wind turbines, I'm just moving them here for now. I'm not sure what I want to do with those yet. But they're providing me with a pretty good chunk of power. And that's constant power, so there's no need for batteries just yet. Uh, obviously, we have the oil extractor running 24-7. Uh, these are getting copper ingots. I had more here, but I've already moved two across the map. And then, again, I have four here for cobalt, four here for aluminum. And that's how I'm getting all these built up. And then I just switched these on the rocks. Fill up my rock baskets, smelt those down, make a bunch of iron. As you can see, iron's probably what you use, I don't know, what you get the least amount that you use the most of. And uh, let's go ahead and clean these off just so I can make sure the fire finishes off the last of the ore. Alright, we'll leave the rest of those things out just sitting on there for now. I think I have some more empty chests out here. And like these are all co full of cobalt. Um, these chests are all full of copper. So plenty of stuff going there. We need to probably get some more going on the con so this is the concrete mixer guys. Fairly expensive to build. The under place you can find those in replaceables and others. And it's just called the mixer. It's four electrical parts, four mechanical parts, 20 iron ingots. So, like I said, pretty hefty cost. Um, you probably don't need more than two to four of these. I've only got one at the moment. Uh, these are your drying racks. So you'll make wet bricks to put out here. They hold 20 bricks each. They'll change colors and states to say dry brick. Like these are these have already dried. And uh, we'll go ahead and go over how to make those. So this is all concrete I've been stockpiling. And this is the dry bricks that we found in the villages. So here's all the clay I've got. And this is how I like to gra gather clay. Take a two pick, two to three pickaxes with you. And then, uh, or at least take the materials to make another pickaxe with you. And have one on you. And then take a chest and then just fill it up. You'll use all this to build your ceilings and to eventually build concrete and make bricks. Then you're also going to need sand. So you'll need two rocks. And you'll just go to your crafting menu. Put the two rocks on there and it makes sand. Come into here, you're gonna have to add 10 sand, 10 clay, and mix it. And you're gonna wanna make sure, you have to have power for this to work. So for, in my case, we have the power box here. We have 360 power coming in. Uh, we're using 260, so that's, and this tells you everything you've got that I have running. So two lamps, two oil extractors, one on this side of the map, one on the other. This one mixer, and then I've got two fridges. And I've started two batteries, I just like I haven't needed those yet. I built a solar panel just to build it. I'll eventually build those and have like a solar panel house built, probably like over here in this corner. Um, as you can see, I've also built two different towers or styles. I built that one using an inside 
our interior walls and those are a little bit bigger just messing around and I built these smaller ones here in which these just take four corners it's the best way to build a tower roof just keep it four wide and just build four corners on it and I'm kind of using this as overflow storage at the moment but yeah they, they look pretty nice when you do it this way everything falls together really nicely and then on the back I haven't built any gates or anything yet really I did build like a little dock just to come out here and do go fishing and get fresh water the vambies will come straight in there so that's nice because they won't smash my walls I'd rather just fight them I don't fight blood moon in here I actually just kite the blood moon and kill them with my bow and then out here it kind of built up a little front gate but uh, let's get back in here and get to it I'm currently running 16 of the wind turbines and that's giving me enough power for, for all the devices I have with a little extra left over so that's currently mixing like I said it takes a little while and then we need to add a little bit more sand but oh, no we actually have enough sand okay never mind so now to, to make wet bricks you'll come to your workbench it's gonna be one sand one clay and you'll craft it it gives you one wet brick so we'll craft those up and then we'll put those on the drying rack And again, I'm just doing alt right click and it's moving one item at a time from the stack. Now on the drying rack you have to place them, you can't just alt right click, but you can pick them up by just uh, looking at them. And you just press E while you're looking at the drying rack. So that's all our wet bricks that are down right now, like the 20 per rack. These cost uh, one iron ingot and I think eight planks. So you see these say dry and then these say wet so you can tell them apart. You can also see the color difference on them. So we'll just pick up the dry bricks. Kind of like just using your drying rack out for your food. You just look at it and grab what you need. Or you can drag it back into your inventory. They do weigh a lot so you don't want to carry a ton of them on you. You always want to have a chest ready to put your concrete and bricks in especially if you're building away from where you're at. And then we're gonna need a, we'll need one stick, so here's a stick here, we'll grab it. We're gonna need one iron ingot. And while we're doing this, let's go ahead and build a repair tool, which is, I'm not really sure how much what that takes. So this is the upgrade tool here. Like I said, one stick, one iron ingot. And you make it on the workbench, and then you have the stone hammer which is what's used for repairing your walls. So if you've got wooden walls, concrete, anything, any walls, concrete, wood, metal doors, uh, you need the materials on you to do the repairing, and then you need the stone hammer to repair. And that's one stick, one stone, and one rope. So we'll grab a stone. Should have some rope floating around here some, somewhere. And we'll need another stick. Um, let's see, probably need to, oops, there we go. Uh, can we craft this on ourselves? Yeah, so you can just craft this on yourself, and that'll be the stone hammer. So if we equip that, let me see what spot. Yeah, if you equip that, it'll take. Uh, you can go up. You see hit points are missing here. Uh, wood takes planks. Um, if you have metal doors, which takes iron ingots. If you have uh, that'll take iron ingots to repair. Walls will take dry bricks to repair, and then foundations and ceilings, pillars, railings that all take concrete to repair and to upgrade. So for the, like these stairs right here, they need two planks. We'll just grab two of those. And then you just hit it with the hammer one time. It'll use the resources and repair it for you. All right, and then to make the upgrade tool, one ingot, oh, we need to go to the workbench. Let's go to the workbench, one iron ingot, one stick. Craft it. And then we have the upgrade tool. And then when you look at something, like we look at this door frame, it tells you what it needs to uh, in order to be upgraded. It says six dry bricks. And if you look at the door, it'll tell you what it takes to upgrade it. Eight iron ingots, uh, pillars, five cement, railings or four cement, foundations are 15 cement each, stairs take six cement. So it takes a lot of cement. You only get 10 per mixer, per mixing. We can get some more of that together. Like I said, two rocks. You always want to have your rocks. Rocks. Usually, I'll get the rocks and the sand and the clay ready. 
in one chest, so it's just easier. All right, so then the sand goes in the sand slot. Obviously, the clay goes in the clay slot, and then mix. It only uses power while it's running. All right, and then we can go ahead and grab these. Well, we'll go ahead and grab the bricks out of the crate, or if you want to, just grab the whole crate. We'll grab uh, two stacks. They weigh 10 pounds each. Concrete's the same way. It weighs five pounds each. All right, so we will go to this door here just because that's what they like to beat on and uh, you just hit it one time with the upgrade hammer and you'll see it change so we can grab the rest of those and do, just do this one wall where as much of it as, as we can with what we have and see when you don't have anything left it won't do anything so that's currently how far that we can get. And if you look at the ceiling with, with the upgrade tool, or the roof, let me see. I, maybe we can't upgrade these. Maybe we'll do the, the flat ones can only be upgraded, maybe. Yeah, it looks like we, we can't upgrade those yet. So you can only upgrade these. So the ceilings are six cement each. And they look really nice when they're done. So I mean, if you wanted to, I think we can place those here, and then you can kind of close in your ceiling space, but you're still gonna have a gap on the angles. And like I said, the doors are eight iron ingots, so we'll do one of those just to show it. Yeah, no, expensive, right? <laughs> but it looks, it looks pretty cool so we'll just hit this one time and there's the upgraded door and we'll grab some cement and we'll do one piece of foundation Wrong one. Sorry about that. So the foundation is expensive so you're gonna need two stacks of concrete at least to do that and I'll show one of the ceiling pieces real quick too I think there should be enough concrete so we'll just do this one right here and again, just look at it with the upgrade tool, hit it one time, and that will be the upgraded foundations. Alright, and then we're going to do one of these inside this tower over here. So this is what it currently looks like, it's just basic wood. Just hit it one time, and then it upgrades to metal and concrete. And the stairs, you can upgrade these too. They're 12 cement each for these, the rounded stairs. So pretty much anything that's just made out of basic wood can be upgraded. Uh, your ceilings can't, your pillars can, railings can again. And that's how you upgrade stuff guys, and that's how you repair stuff. Um, and if, you, if you're trying to make a repair hammer, or, you, or make, trying to make a stone hammer, or the upgrade tool, and you can't, you need to come into your inventory, you probably don't have any slots left. Because remember you have to have slots open in order to craft your tools because they, they have to be able to equip. They can't sit in your inventory space. So you always want to keep a bunch of weapon racks and stuff built. So if, you, if you're full on stuff, you can just store it back. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab me an extra bow. We just had Blood Moon not that long ago, so we don't have to worry about that again anytime soon. And uh, yeah, that's how upgrading works, guys. You can't upgrade the inside walls. You can't put doors in because um, they're interior walls. They're made to just, you know, be for rooms and stuff, which I can show better across the map where I've built a village. But uh, here, as you can see, yeah, I've got everything going on, or everything built. A pretty functional base so far. I think it looks pretty good. I am going to change some stuff, move some stuff around. I do want to add lights to each tower in the center, so you can see it from a distance. Because currently I just have these lights here. Again, mostly just waiting on iron. I've got, like, as you can see, plenty of everything else. And uh, yeah, that'll be the upgrade, guys. If you have any questions or comments, concerns, anything, just leave it, leave it below, and I'll respond to those as soon as I can. Um, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you like what you see, and I'll see you guys for the next episode.